At this time, we're going to have recognize our teachers who are retiring. So we'll have different people come out and introduce them. And just save time if you're retiring, get up here. <laughs> we'll take our time, right? No. I am honored to say thank you and happy retirement to my department chair and friend, Becky Ackright. Mrs. Ackright has worked in the Archdiocese for the entirety of her career, including two, yes, two stints teaching here at St. Thomas Aquinas. She and her husband Brent also sent all three of their sons, Tim, class of 2000, Andy, class of 2003, and Danny, class of 2006, to Aquinas as well. What I admire most about Mrs. Ackright is how she inspired her students to succeed, and they loved her for it. She set high expectations for them, and they achieved those standards because of both her encouragement and her dynamic teaching skills. Our department will miss Mrs. Ackright's leadership, her sense of humor, and her fabulous fashion sense, but we should wish her all the happiness in the world enjoying time with Brent, her sons, and her grandsons, George, Robbie, Teddy, and Tommy. Thank you, Mrs. Ackright. So I don't know if you've noticed this year, um, because masses have been all over the place, but um, if you have, you notice that our accompanist um, looks a little different. Um, his hair is cut short, um, doesn't wear dresses at all. Um, that's because our accompanist for the last 12 years, um, Mrs. Linda Bender, has decided to finally retire, and um, she's going to go up north, spend some time in the house that her parents had, has a nice lake in it, um, and she's just going to enjoy life. So um, we would just want to recognize Mrs. Linda Bender for all of her service. back. <laughs> Mr. Craig Ewing started teaching at St. Thomas Aquinas in 1988. That's the year our doors opened. He stayed for 32 years, retiring just last spring after a total of 46 years in education. As we all know, Craig is a nationally recognized soccer coach leading his teams to championships over and over and over again. In fact, he brought us much of our gymnasium decor. <laughs> but he was, first and foremost, an extraordinary educator whose skill, enthusiasm, and flair for fun made him a master teacher. Craig Ewing loves the English so much he named his dog Proofrock. <laughs> he loves STA so much he's back as a substitute and we're so glad he is to see him in the hall and hear the best laugh ever. <laughs> Thank you Mr. Ewing for giving St. Thomas Aquinas your intellect, your passion, and thousands and thousands and thousands of hours of hard work, infinite talent, true loyalty, and great friendship. Congratulations on your retirement, Mr. Young. Mrs. Mayfield. 
Where did she at? Come. We will not add up all the years of service to our Catholic schools in the Archdiocese of Kansas City, Kansas, but Mrs. Mayfield could have been my grade school teacher. <laughs> Mrs. Mayfield has given her time as a teacher at St. John's Grade School, St. Peter's, now called Resurrection Grade School, and was a teacher and assistant principal at Holy Trinity Grade School before following her kids here to the halls of St. Thomas Aquinas as a theology teacher and a dedicated sports fan to whatever sport one of her students happened to be playing that night. Thank you, Joanne, for bringing Christ to your classroom and teaching our students the importance of centering their lives in the Catholic faith. May you always have a Samwise Gamgee at your side and a Gandalf the Gray to light your way in retirement. Joanne, well done, good and faithful servant. Thank you and congratulations. Dave Shriver. We honor Dave Shriver as he retires after 33 years of teaching at St. Thomas Aquinas and 43 years of dedicating his life to teaching for the Archdiocese and leading students to Christ. Dave is one of the original teachers who started St. Thomas Aquinas and was chair of both the social studies and technology departments for most of his career. Dave has been a leader and an inspiration with his consistent presence at morning mass in our chapel and his involvement in all new initiatives here at St. Thomas Aquinas. Dave, we thank you for your commitment to Catholic education and to your unwavering support for your students and their future success. Sturgis is an institution at Aquinas. She began teaching here 31 years ago. Many teachers would lose their sparkle after all that time, but not Karen. She has continued to be the bright spot in students' days. The students love testing new foods in her kitchen, depending on which group was doing the cooking. If it was Danny Carroll's group, then maybe not. <laughs> there have been many families come through the doors at Aquinas Open House over Karen's 31 years here, and one of the things they all remember about Open House is the foods the students bake with Mrs. Sturgis, or the cookies. This is such an iconic part of Aquinas' story that has been cultivated by Karen. Many young people have their first interaction with Aquinas at summer cooking camp. That was started and has been taught by Karen for many years. This camp is so popular that it fills up every year. She's wonderful with the kids. She's able to keep all the kids engaged, including Miss Ingram's son, who, as it turns out, wasn't that interested in baking, but still had a great time and left Karen with all her pencils super sharp. I have been blessed to have a classroom across the hall from Karen for the last 10 years. She is always a bright light in my day. Her energy and spirit keep me motivated, and I always come away from her room with a smile on my face. She keeps me and the rest of our hallway laughing with her good humor. She will be missed greatly. Congratulations, Karen. We have one more. As you can tell, we've been doing a lot of hiring lately. It's been kind of interesting. Um, Sarah Burgess. Um, the Burge, the Queen, whatever you want to call her. <laughs> She's been an institution here when she started back in 1989, when I was just a freshman in high school. Anyway, so. Um, <laughs> 
sorry. Before that, she was actually worked for eight years in Wyandotte County before coming here and finding and fell in love with what Blake Mulvaney started here. She was a PE teacher for years, volleyball coach. In fact, she was part of the 95 state championship, which is actually on this part. So going the one, two, three, you know, probably the eighth state championship. And, and that's where the legend of Creators was formed too. You're gonna have to hear that story at some point, but not today. Sorry. But through that time, then she, she came into the AD position and has led into what has developed since then. Never settling for second best, never settling at all and trying to excel in everything and, and, and lead her coaches to bring the best out of, her, out of their athletes. So Sarah, the times, and I don't think people realize how much time it takes to AD. It's not so much the time during the day, it's the time at nights, it's the late nights, it's spending here, making sure everything goes off as well as it possibly can. Sarah Burgess, congratulations on retirement and thank you for your service. On that note, in case you didn't know, there's a bunch of kids in the theater watching this. Theater people, you guys can head back to class. Parents and graduates stay here, and students in here can head back to class. Parents, remember, Tuesday night is back right here at 7.